turn to football, no receiver in the country caught more passes or touchdowns than Bowling Green's Freddie Barnes. So it shouldn't come as any surprise that he's a finalist for the award given to the country's top receiver, the Boletnikov. Tomorrow, Freddie leaves for Orlando, where the winner will be announced Thursday on national TV. 138 catches, 16 touchdowns, and Freddie Barnes still isn't used to the national spotlight. I'm probably going to a little shock. Seeing everybody, uh, like Tim Tebow and all those guys. So every time something happens where my name comes across the screen or or I uh, see different things in, in articles and just to have you guys ask me about those type of things, it's, it's definitely an honor and a privilege. His coach, Dave Clawson, would have been more shocked if Freddie wasn't named a finalist. What would we be like without Freddie? What he's meant to our football team this year and meant to our football program, he deserves it. This is big. You know, if you look at all the major player awards, there's probably 14 to 1,500 players who play in the MAC. There's going to be one MAC player at this event, and that's Bowling Green's Freddie Barnes. You know, obviously I'm biased. I, I think Freddie deserves it. I'd love to see him win it. I got a 33% chance of winning, so uh, that's pretty good. That's better than zero. I'm just going to enjoy it and, and hopefully bring back some uh, video footage of all my, my new friends I might meet. Well, after Thursday night, some of that video footage might include a Bowling Green player, Freddie Barnes, winning the Boletnikov for the entire country to see.